In this training video, we will learn everything about what is where on the piano, as well as easy way to learn the keys on the keyboard. Hope you enjoy. This is the piano. It's a grand piano. Now you don't need to have one of those in order to learn how to play good or how to play at all. It's it's a very nice one to have. So here we have the lid open and it helps with the acoustics. And what we have inside are a bunch of strings and if you take a look at it's got strings that are long and strings that are short the longer ones are also thicker and then here we have a, a little bit of tinier strings and they're shorter so thick and long and then from this side we have short and thin now that does make difference in the sound production that's why i needed to mention it and then we have the keys this is the keyboard where the keys are located then we have the pedals and the first pedal to the right is the sustain pedal the middle one is helping out with a sustain if you have a second sustain and then the one on the left is the soft pedal all three pedals control the sound and then dynamic production which is the volume so when you hit a key the velocity that you use will change the sound has in loud and soft so the more pressure you put on the key the louder the sound the faster you go all the way down the louder the sound and then the slower and less pressure the quieter the sound so now what happens in here is that when you strike strike a key this key actually it's a string through a hammer. See, these hammers are hitting the string. produce the sound and this first one pedal to the right is damper pedal it sustains and amplifies without the pedal with the pedal now that second one as I said it could be used as a second sustain that means that if I have to hold that note and then I press the second one, it's going to keep holding it. But then each one I can then with a different. If I let go of this right pedal, the left one will still sustain that G that they hit first. Now I'm going to let it go and it clears. Another thing is that soft pedal that we use most of the time we control the volume through our fingers but once in a while we get to use that left pedal and that is to make the sound really quiet so here it is and then with it big difference Thank you. 
up, down, and um, in here, this part of the piano, where the keys lie on, it's called the keyboard. So we pretty much have a bunch of white keys and a bunch of black keys, and there's groups of threes and twos, and if you don't know the notes, it's, um, there is an easier way to remember them by um, just uh, think of the piano as a huge neighborhood. And so in this neighborhood, we have people houses and dog houses. Which one do you think it's going to be bigger? The people houses. So those are the groups of three. Okay, so all the groups of threes are the people houses. Now the doll houses are the groups of two. Okay, so what do you think they would be in the doll house? A dog. So this note here is D. In between the two black keys. So what you need to know about the keyboard is important because that will have a lot to do with uh, sight reading later. So each way I'm going to the right, I'm going up, and each way, each time I'm going down, it's gonna be to the left. So up, and down. Okay, um, middle keys, and then High keys and then low keys. Now that comes from the strings inside. Here are thick and long, and they are tiny and shorter in um, the right section of the keyboard. Middle. Okay, so. Directions again up this way down this way think about birdies high in the sky high keys going up and then going down Low to the ground heavy Maybe like a bear Okay, so back to dog houses. So these two black keys throughout the keyboard are going to be hosting the dog D then, what else do you think is in the dog house? <laughs> a cat. So on the left hand side would be C. So D, C. So you have two black keys on the left side, C. So practice finding the C's starting from the bottom of the piano, going up all the C's. The very last one, hidden one, is supposed to have two black keys, so therefore it's a C. Hidden C, hidden cat. Okay, and this is how most of pianos look like. I've seen some are a little shorter here on the top part of the keyboard, there's some keys missing. Um, just generally, this is the traditional structure of the piano. So you have C and the same C. Last one. So anyway, let's come back to the dog house. So we have dog and cat and what else you think there is in the dog house? An elephant. <laughs> Very unusual. So here is the elephant, which is the note E. So you have D and C on the left hand side of the two black keys and then an E on the right hand side of the two black keys. So D, C, E. So practice finding all the E's starting from the top of the piano, going down and visually get used to right side of the two black keys, E. Right side, E, 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 and so forth. So this is the dog house. Now, the people houses that are bigger ones. So we have three black keys on the left hand side. We have front door, F, front door. Then, what do you think it's on the back? 
we have a back door. So practice finding all the Fs going up, starting from the bottom of the piano, F, 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 and so forth, one more. And then starting from the top of the keyboard, practice all the Bs, B, 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 B. So finding all the keys as you're naming them out loud, it, it's really helpful for a quicker remembering. So we have front door and back door. Now we are going to have George, the guard, the note G, George the guard. His wife, the cook, Alice, is next to back door. Alice, next to the back door. So George, next to the front door, he's the guard. And Alice, next to the back door, she is the cook, Alice. So I find that George and Alice are the most difficult ones, or G and A, to find at first, uh, when you first start learning the keys, of course, if you don't know them yet. So anyway, so we're gonna practice that too. So starting Alice or A, going all the way down to the bottom of the piano. So I want you to record a video of yourself with each key, naming it going up and um, naming it going down. So those are the keys uh, on the keyboard. Now, they are alphabetically created for easier remembering um, the very first one. So uh, just like if you remember, we talked about the very last key here on the top is a C, 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 mm -hmm. on most pianos. This is a standard size. So uh, standard size keyboard, not a standard size piano. It's way bigger than um, regular piano. So we have a C on the top. C on the bottom. Uh, remember, the last one is usually a C. The first one on the bottom, the lowest key, is usually an A. So if you look at it, you have two black keys, D, C, B, back door, and then A. So it's an A. A. So what I want you to do is practice going up and naming the keys. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So no note H. G is the last one. Then you start again from A. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, 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 B, C. So this is probably going to be easier than coming back, but I want you to record the video going up and then going down for assignment. So going down would be C, B, A, G, F, E, D, 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 C, B, A. And that's stop. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, just like anything that you need to practice, consistency over time equals success.